It's Tuesday, August 24th, 2010, and today Hagrid and I are going to show you how to turn this shirt, wait, hold on, into these pants. The really cool thing about these pants is that you're using just the t-shirt and one other thing, either, you know, something for the drawstring, either elastic or a string or whatever, and you make that shirt into a pair of pants. It does help if the shirt is bigger than the size that you wear. So like I use, I can use an extra large or a double extra large to make um, a pair of gauchos for me. But if they're not, if you don't have a shirt that's that much bigger, you can take two t-shirts and cut yourself a panel to put in the sides. And I will show you how to do that during the tutorial. So really fun thing to make. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you make yourself a pair. They're super comfortable. They're great for lounging out and reading in. Um, I like to wear mine to sleep in. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial and I really enjoyed doing the last one, which was the she shirt tutorial, which will, I will post a link to here. The first thing we're gonna do today is gather our supplies. You need a big t-shirt, if you have it. You need a rotary cutter and a ruler, but these are not absolutely necessary. They're just a little bonus if you have them. A good pair of scissors. A sewing machine is great, but you can also hand sew this project. If you have some elastic, that's great, or you can use a tie or anything else that would be comfortable for you to hold a pair of pants up with. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off both sleeves. Just whack them off and save them for another project. Cut them off right inside the seam allowance so that you get the um, all the stitching. You just want to cut it right off. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this piece. If you do a lot of t-shirt reconstruction, save the neck for another project. You can use that on something else. Um, if you do not have a rotary cutter, use a ruler or a straight edge and a piece of chalk and just draw a line and then cut it with your scissors. I do have a rotary cutter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up. I'm just going to make sure it's as straight as I can make it and as close to the neck as I can get it and I'm just going to lop it off. Now I'm going to find the center of this by folding it in half. You can also measure it to find the center. You fold that to the outside to find your center. And just put a pin right in the middle. Do that on both sides. And then that's going to be our center. Just smooth it out. We're going to use our ruler to cut that. We're going to line up our ruler, pull those pins. Chalk works here too, but I like pins because it's faster. And I'm just going to lop it right up the center. And that's all the cutting for this project. That's all the cutting. Now, if you've ever made pants before, you're about to recognize what you're going to see. This is going to be one leg of my pants right here. So the next thing we're going to do, this is really easy. We're going to take this side face up. We're going to pin this side face down and we're going to stitch this arc together. So let's pin this. Now we're going to sew. Before I start stitching, this is a jersey needle, so I've switched to uh, a needle specifically for knit fabric. You can use a straight stitch or you can use a stretch stitch. And if you have a walking foot, that works great too. We're going to unfold that. It's a little bit tricky, but you'll get it. Find the seams that were from the sides of the t-shirt. And if the t-shirt didn't have seams, then just you're going to pull it so that the seam you just stitched is in the middle. You see what that did? So now we're gonna stitch this along the sides. This was an extra large shirt. Um, if you find that this width is not comfortable for you, if you want it to be a little wider, what you can do right here 
is cut another piece out of another t-shirt and add it to the side and just put a panel down the side before you put your waist in and that'll actually work really well and it's really easy it's just one more step so we're gonna pin this We stitch. Straight stitch right up the leg. I'm using about a half inch seam allowance. Um, I'll probably trim some of that off later, but it's just a little easier to have a little bit more of the jersey under the foot of than a quarter of an inch, which is what you do if you're working on a quilt. Um, five eighths is a little too much, and that's pretty standard clothing size. Gonna back tack this. Keep the stitching in place, and now I'm going to do the other side. Let's pull off these. You can see I've already got the basic shape of a pair of gaucho pants. For your waist, you've got a couple of options. You can either use elastic or you can have like a drawstring. This is actually a piece of cord left from another project. Um, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to my uh, comfortable clothing and I don't want to deal with the drawstring so I'm going to put elastic in mine. What I like to do is put it around my waist. Um, this is a very low tech way of figuring out how much elastic. I put it around my waist. Um, I pull it so it's tight enough so that I know if I had pants on they're not going to fall off and then I add about an inch and that's where I overlap and stitch. Okay, I've cut my um, elastic so I'm going to set that aside. And the next thing we have to do, and this is the last big thing, is we're gonna make a casing for these pants. You do this the same way whether you use drawstring or elastic. So um, my elastic is three quarters of an inch wide. I'm gonna fold down the top. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go up to an inch and a quarter because just to make sure I have plenty of space. I'm not gonna turn this under or anything because uh, knit this t-shirt knit's not gonna ravel. And these are not made to wear you know anything anywhere special. This is not. Uh, you know, apparel 101. We're just we're making reconstructed tees, so we're going to go as easy as we can. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pin here, but then I'm going to put a cross pin. And the reason I do that is I know that I'm going to sew from here to here, and I'm going to leave that open so I can get either my drawstring or my elastic in there. So. Now we're just going to keep pinning. I'm going to measure as I pin. If you don't want to measure, you can definitely eyeball this. Just make sure it's wide enough to get your elastic or your drawstring in. Let's sew. I like to start where I put this cross pin. I'm going to start in front of it and I'll end before I get to it. And I'm going to leave, um, I, I used a little extra width on this, so I'm going to use about a quarter of an inch from this side of my foot to where my needle is. I'm going to needle down, I'm going to back stitch a couple of times, and then we're just going to sew. I'm going to back tack a little bit. There are a couple of ways to get the elastic into the pants or the drawstring if that's your choice. Um, I'm pretty old school about the way I do it. I like a big safety pin and if it'll fit I use a diaper pin. Um, there are elastic guides that you can get that are basically a big loop or a big uh, piece of plastic that has a hole in the end where you could stick this in the end and just pull the whole thing through. Um, some people like to sew with a piece of string or something inside so that they can just pull the elastic through but like I said I'm pretty old school so this is how I do it I fold the top and I pin this through here this is my diaper pin and yeah this is an actual diaper pin that I used when my kids were babies um, so and then you just put it in and you start threading it through now you got to make sure that you don't thread your other end through so just keep an eye on that Now I've come out the other side. I'm just going to pull this out. And I am going to use a stretch stitch on this because elastic is almost impossible to sew on otherwise. And it just really has to have that stretch stitch. 
you can either stitch it like this or you could fold it over and then stitch it. You can overlap them and stitch them. I really like it stitched like this. I've done it several ways and this just seems to work best for me. I'm just going to give this a tug, make sure it's in there all evenly. Then I'm going to try this on and if it fits, then I'll go ahead and stitch this down. They fit, so I've put them right back in the sewing machine. I'm going to make sure that elastic is well inside. And the back tag. You guys have a great weekend. I will see you next week. Bye. Have a great week too, since I said weekend. Twinkle tattoo.